Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller with PA Creative. Welcome back to our free mini course, Making Divi Responsive. So in this video, I just wanna go over some tips and resources, some tutorials, and even look at our products, and just show you like an overview of some extra settings that are in Divi that are not necessarily for responsive settings, but how you can use them to absolutely save tons of time. Um, and then we're going to look at some of my tutorials over on my blog. Um, a lot of those have CSS in them. Um, and then we'll, we'll look at the ones that are specific, obviously, for, um, you know, making David responsive. And then we're going to take a quick look at our plugin as well. Let's get started and show you all of this good stuff. So there are a couple more settings that I want to go over, and these are not specific to, you know, making Divi responsive, but I don't know how or why you would make Divi responsive without utilizing some of these features. So let's take a look. So if I go in here and let's say um, we were going to make um, this title here a certain size. So in the design tab, for example, and we talked about this earlier, but let's say I would go in here and this is a call to action module. And I would go in and set different font sizes here for the different devices. So let's say maybe if on desktop it was 36, maybe I'll make this 32 on tablet and maybe 28 on phone. Okay. So I could go through to every single call to action or I could right click on here and you'll see, or you could, you know, hit this little the three dots here and then there's an option that says make style default but there's also extend title text size so either one of these you can use here to basically set this across your website so extend title text let's start with extend you could click on that and it's going to say i want this to extend to and then you say well all call to action modules you could say all modules um, and then where do you want it to extend to this section row column or page so we could say you know well we could say this section and click extend but there's only going to be one in the section the other option which is when you want to set it default across your website is make style default so it's going to ask you to confirm this because it says this will affect all the title text size options of call to action modules across your entire site so in other words, it's it's not just affecting this section or this page, but the entire site. So I like to do that for all my font sizes especially. But just remember, if we did it in an H2, in a call to action, you would also want to do it like in a blurb and a text module and different modules like that, okay? Another one that is really helpful is when you go up here to the top, it says search, but then there's filter. And you can actually go in here and click on responsive styles. So anything in here that you've set in this module that you've set for responsive. And here you can see the button padding and the text size, which we just done. So that kind of is a way to quickly find the styles that you've already set as responsive. Um, that's really helpful. Like if you're just, if you're modifying your site, you're in the process of making it responsive and you're, you're like, oh, let's go down through and find them all and just click on filter responsive styles and then you can adjust them and these are these are handy for other things as well these filters here you know the ones that are modified hover styles and different things like that um, but i just wanted to point these out because i think they're really important um, if you're making your site responsive and you want to save yourself some time definitely utilize this um, you know for example the, like i said the text size but there's other things um, the, you know, even a lot of stuff has to do with text that I would use, like the font, obviously, and, um, you know, the color of the font and things like that, even line height, a lot of that type of stuff. I just set it. And then, like I said, you know, you, you go in here and extend it or make it default and that's going to simplify your life a lot. So a couple more resources that I think are going to be really helpful beyond this course, obviously my blog. So over here. If you go to pacreative.com slash blog, you'll find all of my blog posts and especially, you know, related to this course, Divi responsiveness. So here you're going to find any of my tutorials that, you know, we keep publishing that have anything to do with making Divi responsive. Okay. 
So be sure to check that out. And especially this one here, I think especially if you're looking to go beyond Divi and add CSS, you're gonna to wanna to look at this one called CSS Media Queries in Divi because this one talks about what a media query is and how you can set them and how you create them and use them in Divi. So that's gonna be really helpful. And of course we have videos um, on all of these tutorials. So check out our YouTube channel, follow along there. Those are gonna be really helpful resources. And of course, as you know by now, the Divi Responsive Helper, um, if you wanna check out that plugin, see all of the features and see what we keep adding to it, go ahead and check that out. See if that can benefit you as you're making your sites responsive. All right, so that concludes this video and this course. So I really hope that something here was helpful to you. Um, if there's something I've missed, I'll be happy to add more videos and things like that um, or go into more tutorials on our blog or add new features to our plugin. So just let me know. Um, I'm eager to help. I'm excited that I can contribute like this and I'm excited for all of the feedback that I'm getting um, for our blog and our tutorials and things like that, our products. So I just wanna keep it going. I wanna keep paying it forward back to you. Let me know what you wanna see next. Um, I really hope that this has been helpful, like I said, and that together we can be continuing to improve our sites and make them better and that you get better results, um, better traffic, better search results, and just better user experience on different size devices. All right, well, we'll see you guys in some future videos. Have a great day.